Assalamu alaikum. I am Asad Yusuf and welcome to MPT Foundation presentation of the day. Today I'm going to share my reflections on the training which I have done in the beginning of March as SRT Clinical School, uh, which I attended in Humanitis Science Center. In the presentation from one of the physicists, Topic is known as BRT, a low density small scale and motion problem. So, I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to cover this presentation in this video presentation. Lung SBRT difficulties. Lung SBRT involves all inaccuracies that can be related to stereotactic treatment. Low density problem, the small field problem, the motion problem, which affects all major those calculations. All those effects together make the lung SBRT planning and delivery very challenging and the rather high uncertainty. So lung SBRT, low density and small field problem. Electron range by consequences, the lateral charge particle equilibrium change in the lung. Here you can see the denser medium, the lung medium, and then again the denser medium. So lateral charge particle propagation is different in the water and in the lung. When we go to the small field, like 3 cm, or maybe less, or 2 cm, we got significant difference in different algorithms. So this reflects the Monte Carlo, the best one. The other reflects the commercially available algorithm. So in Eclipse, we have two algorithm, AAA and Acris. Acris give a closer result with the Monte Carlo. In large field, it's a bit similar. To increase the low dose in the low density medium to the level to the dose to the soft tissue, we need to deliver more radiation in low density medium. For pre-treatment QA, we can try to understand what happened. The QA of two partial arc for EV image translated into absorbed dose homogeneous medium. The planar image is required with a detector always perpendicular to the beam during the delivery. The image is clasping the dose from 3D to 2D around the isocenter. Here you can see the gamma evolution. That shows that we are giving the low dose to the volume. By ICRU definition, we know about this. So what happened in the planning level? Soft tissue density, and this is a lung density. Soft tissue, which we can visualize in uh, different imaging modalities. So if we take the profile and the density medium, here you can see the GTV, and here is the lung. So the ITV reflects the penumbral region. If we increase the ITV, it may increase the doses or it may result in this. So the QA of two partial arc again, uh, and the same results, uh, evaluate the dose in the QA process, although dose is recomputed in homogeneous medium. It is more similar to the fluence deliver. Both dose calculation and patient and QA are correct. We deliver low fluence to achieve the desired dose. So what happened in the delivery level? Due to the motion, this profile may move. The plant dose distribution is homogeneous in the ITV, what we intend to deliver through inhomogeneous plants. Deliver dose distribution due to the motion and the different densities of the GTV to ITV margin could lose its homogeneity. GTV could receive some higher dose than the plant. GT to ITV margin could receive lower dose to the plan. So how to reduce planning to delivery uncertainty? So these are the some paper published related to the voluming of the lung. And uh, here you can see how the ITV uh, compensate the GTV. So attempting to reduce the planning delivery to uncertainties. Rebreathing may set. 
time everything is set, free breathing is set. So these are the things which one can do. Two motion patterns, sinusoidal, slow with a long exhale. ITV are defined using 4D, at least 4D CT and LED. 10 gray to PTV with 6 MV triple F, 2 arc, full arc with a collimeter of 30 to 30. Again, these are some paper results. And the major uh, recommendation comes that density override. So whatever the density of GTV, you could make the density of ITV. That will reduce the uncertainty. So the plan shows significantly higher gamma passing rate. Tumor volume was covered by prescription dose in all phases with the 4D CT for all the patient plan, a lower mean conformity index. The other plans for all five patients with three of the cases showing statistically significant difference. No significant correlation was observed between gamma value or conformity index or modulation complex. In summary, small feed in low density medium associated with the motion generated a big uncertainty in the delivered dose delivered to the plant dose. Due to the motion, GTV could be overdose at its edges, while the region just surrounding the GTV could be underdose. ITV from 4D CT is suitable for target delineation on each phase. Compute the dose distribution, good solution. Oh, the threat is not moving. So, um, thank you very much for listening.